guys, I have another amazing recipe for you guys. This pesto truffle pizza is to die for. It is one of my favorite pizzas to make for any kind of appetizer, all any party that I'm hosting, this pizza is a sure win. I got this recipe from my really good friend, Tasha Baines, the owner of Teja Foods, and um, she introduced me to this non bread and she's like, this is how you make it. And ever since then, I've been making it all the time. And I promise you guys, I promise you guys, it's gonna be a hit. So without further ado, let's just get right into it and let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is cut our mushrooms. So it's optional. You could take these little ends off if you'd like, or you could just cut them. I know in my family, no one's really fussy. So I just sometimes keep them on, but for you guys, I will be fancy. We're just gonna be slicing and dicing them evenly. Don't worry, these are gonna get reduced and cooked down. Um, I have washed my mushrooms beforehand. I know some people say you should never wash your mushrooms. You should really just peel the skin off because mushrooms absorb a lot of water. Um, Ain't nobody got time for that. I wash my mushrooms. <laughs> I do not have time to worry about that. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna, um, when I cook them, well, you'll see when I start cooking them, the water will come out and we're just gonna evaporate it. We'll just put it on a low heat until the, all the moisture is evaporated on the mushrooms. All right. Then what we're gonna do is once the mushrooms are cut, we're gonna go ahead and grab a sweet onion. Um, it's just a white onion. If you're going to the grocery store, look for the ones that say sweet. There's a couple of different, usually there's a yellow onion, then there's a white onion, then there's a sweet onion. We want the sweet onion. Cause once, once we saute um, the onions, we really, want, we really want it to caramelize and be super sweet. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be slicing this onion into nice even slices. I'm not gonna be dicing it. I'm just going to keep them nice and long because it looks better for presentation on the pizza. And also, um, I just love it when they're nice stringy like onions on the pizza. Now that we've gone ahead and sliced our onions and our mushrooms, we're gonna add some olive oil and some butter into a frying pan and we're gonna fry this up. So my frying pan is already on, it's on medium heat, I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon of butter in there. Okay, when, once that melts down, I'm gonna also add some olive oil, just so the butter doesn't burn. That's great. Okay. Into this hot oil and butter mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add our onions and our mushrooms. We have one whole onion and we have about eight to 10 cremini mushrooms. Um, this is all gonna reduce down. I'm just gonna keep stirring it on high heat. Uh, sometimes I even, I'll even cover it and let it do its thing and come check up on this in about four minutes. So while our mushrooms and onions are sauteing and reducing down and releasing the ooey gooey sweetness and goodness, we are gonna make the base, like the sauce for our pizza. So we're using a garlic and fine herb boris and cheese. Um, the cheese that we're gonna sprinkle on top of the pizzas, you could use any cheese. I like to use black truffle cheddar, so I'm gonna be using that. And this is the truffle pesto. Um, it's a little hard to find this truffle pesto. I find I found mine at my local Save On Foods. I know that they have it in the international section, but this stuff is amazing. If you cannot find like a truffle infused pesto, you could just mix some truffle oil and some pesto sauce and it gets the job done. In a bowl, take your bores and cheese and we're just gonna Take it out of its casing here, and out of its packaging, remove that. Okay, one whole borsen and cheese, and I already have a pesto, um, truffle pesto open, so I'm gonna use that. And we're gonna do about two heaping tablespoons of this stuff. That's what it looks like. And we're just gonna mix this all together. And you basically just wanna mix the two together so you don't see any cheese, like it's not separated. So there's no clumps of cheese. It just looks like a light green paste. That's what it should look like. Okay, let's go check out our mushrooms. So at this point, while they're nice and sweaty, I'm gonna go ahead and give it some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna salt them and the pepper. You can add parsley, you can add chili flakes, you can add whatever you prefer. It's, honestly, 
I always feel like with these recipes, it's all your personal preference. Seasoning and herbs can change the flavor palette of any any recipe. And like sometimes if I really wanted to make this a little bit more Cajun, you could put Cajun powder in it. You could put some cumin powder to make it a little bit more Indian. It's completely up to you. We'll come back to that. Now would be a good time to preheat your oven. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do conventional bake and I'm gonna preheat it to 350 degrees. So just keep an eye on these. Um, it's really easy to walk away and burn this. I have done it in the past. Right now, it looks like it's reduced down to quite a bit, but we're not at that stage. I want these onions to caramelize a little bit more. Do you see how the mushrooms have a nice golden char on them and our onions are completely like translucent and they are nice and caramelized? That's what I was looking for. This is good, it's done. Let's turn off the heat and let it cool. If you feel like your, your mixture is has a lot more water still in the, in the pan. You could at this point either drain it, but I, I suggest you keep going until all the water evaporates. Truly, that this is what I want it to look like. So that wasn't that bad. We already have our toppings ready to go, our uh, sauce mixture ready to go. Now all we have to do is assemble these little tiny pizzas, which are the best. So you're gonna grab any naan. My favorite are these Teja garlic naans because they already have a little bit of a garlic leaf flavor and that's why I didn't add garlic to my recipe. Now you guys can do, you can do plain naan and if you do do that, then just add a little bit of garlic powder to the mushrooms. But remember, the overall taste of this, I don't want it to be the garlic to overpower the truffle. The, the truffle and the balsamic reduction that we're gonna put on at the end, mm, that's what really brings it all together. So to assemble this, really easy. All you're gonna do is take your naan, take your cheese and pesto truffle mixture, apply, I, I really love like saucy pizzas, so I'm gonna apply a good amount on. To that, you're just gonna go ahead and add your onion and mushroom toppings, like a light, um, thin layer, but still you want to make sure every bite has a good amount of onions and mushroom. That's good. Okay. Just need a little bit right there. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to top this with the black truffle cheese. Magic of television. I already have it grated. Thank you, Amit. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit, not too much. We don't want this to be too cheesy like I don't want the cheddar flavor to over um, I don't want the cheddar flavor to take over the pesto flavor and then that's it this is done I'm gonna go ahead and make three or four of the, more of these and I'm gonna stick them in the oven and you're gonna leave them in the oven for I'd say about 10 minutes we just want the cheese to melt the crust to have a little bit of a golden edge to it and then we're gonna pull them out and do the balsamic drizzle on top Do you see, we didn't use that much cheese, yet it's still so melted and ooey and gooey and it covered enough surface area, it's perfect. Any more cheese would have been too cheesy. I'm gonna let this set for a little minute or two and then I'm gonna put it on my cutting board um, and then drizzle some of this balsamic reduction and then cut it and serve it. So good. Now I'm gonna take my knife, cut it, and I always have taste testers handy, always. So we have Emma and a meat working here in my little nook. Guys, do you guys want red pepper? Do you want chili flakes? Chili flakes? Okay, a little bit of chili flakes. And we're ready to try it. You guys want to try it? Come. Cole, want to try it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. It smells delicious. Thank you, thank you. Um, mm. This will not disappoint. Okay, here you go. Cheers. Oh my god, that's so good. Right? <laughs> it's like it belongs as an appy at like cactus or earls mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tasha. Seriously. So this 
is my friend's recipe and oh, so good, right? I've been making this all the time. Yeah, every, it's so easy. A little bit of ingredients, put it together, and it, it honestly tastes like something that you would order as an appetizer at a really fancy restaurant. It is awesome. Crowd pleaser. I make it all the time. And now you guys could be making it all the time for your friends and family. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to shoot more content for you. Leave me a message. Leave me some comments below. And let me know what, what else you guys like to see. Okay? Take care.